Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today I would like to share you an alternate framework which helps you to ease your lesson planning and make your teaching journey easier. I am talking about WebDOK Depth of Knowledge. In 1997, Dr. Norman Webb developed the DOK to categorize activities according to the level of complexity in thinking. The creation of the DOK stemmed from the alignment of standards of assessment. Let's explore more about Web Depth of Knowledge DOK provides a vocabulary and a frame of reference when thinking about our students and how they engage with the content. DOK offers a common language to understand rigor or cognitive demand in assessments as well as curricular units, lessons and tasks. There are four levels of DOK. Let's look at the levels and investigate how they may engage learners. Level 1 is recall or reproduction. Level 1 is useful for introducing information to students or checking for understanding about foundation information needed for higher order thinking. Level 1 activities can also help teachers understand the prior knowledge and experience of their students. In level 1, you can give assignment like on your screen you can see a draw, define, calculate, memorize, identify, who, what, when, where, why, tabulate, recognize and so on. So this level is used usually in starter activities for just recalling the prior knowledge. Level number 2 skills and concept the second level requires a student to make informed decision about problem solving and procedures manipulating level one thinking in new contexts in this level students may be asked to complete multiple steps in order to find a solution like collecting and then displaying data in a chart the example of level two is infer categorize collect and display classify separate modify predict so after starter for proceeding towards your objectives, you can use level two. Level number three is strategic thinking. This level requires reasoning, planning, using evidences and a higher level of thinking. Asking students to explain their thinking is a part of this level. This level is more complex and abstract than the previous two. Level three is little higher and it's based on strategic thinking. For example, develop a logical argument, construct something, compare, investigate, differentiate, draw conclusions, hypothesize, formulate, critic, etc. Level number four, extended thinking. The last level of the four is the most complex. This level requires complex reasoning, planning, developing and thinking. Most likely over a period of time, a student both designing and conducting an experiment is a demonstration of this level. Usually this, uh, this will take your average class of students at the higher level of thinking. This give a very good opportunity for students to apply their knowledge. The fourth one is usually for higher achievers in your classes. You can give them synthesize, apply their concepts, critic at certain level, analyze, create, proof. You can use this level for extended thinking for extension of questions. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. Don't hesitate to compose an email if you have any question, query, suggestion, recommendation and even support. Thank you so much for your time. Take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Goodbye.